one person donates their organs and up to seven people's lives are able to be changed just by that one gift of life. And to be in the middle of that, there's nothing in the world like it. Yunos is a private nonprofit. We manage the National Organ Donation and Transplantation List, a system. I often liken our job as you know, replacing the tires on the car while the car is in motion. Uh, we can't stop the train. We transplanted almost 40,000 people last year, and there are yet still over 100,000 people that are still waiting. We're doing all that we can to ensure that those who are waiting don't have to continue to wait. We want to provide those organs to those who are in need. At the moment that an organ is donated, we then run the match and determine you know, what the candidate list is going to be. And so that runs on demand multiple times a day. 10 years ago, that process was running maybe a thousand times a month. So here now, we are approaching twice that much. Instead of talking minutes, we're talking seconds in our match run times. I think that it would be very difficult to do what we do without modern technology. We made a decision to go to a company like Nutanix because it allows us to process more data here in the mothership, right, more quickly. And that's where the performance boost, not just from the APIs themselves, but the submission of more information that's coming to UNOS. We needed to make sure that we can operate not just on-premises or in the public cloud. We needed to create a hybrid environment. Nutanix is enabling us to take advantage of both the, uh, the public cloud infrastructure as well as our private cloud and do it in a seamless manner. All the complexities have all just been distilled into this single pane of glass. Most administrative tasks can be performed with one or just a few clicks. We can free up uh, our, our resources, our, our, our people, to spend more time doing the value-added activities to more directly impact our transplant community. COVID has changed everything for us as well as everybody else. And with working remotely, the easier the administrative burden is, the less you're impacted when you do have to go to a remote uh, work situation. So with very little, uh, very little having to come into the office, uh, and it's been really, really seamless for us and, and has enabled us to, to maintain this high availability of our systems. The people who work here really believe in what we do. And we have a unique opportunity to give someone else a chance of improved life or just life itself. Our biggest uh, challenge is that they're just not, there are not enough donors. We just need more people to register and volunteer to, to be organ donors because there are over 100,000 people who are still waiting on a life-saving transplant. And so the one part that every one of us can play is to sign up to be an organ donor. And you never know, there may be somebody who is waiting right now who could benefit.